Gareth, where do you begin with that? Well, that's, that's football, isn't it? You know, we've been one of the lowest scorers in the division. Um, we've had very little luck all season and we've got all our goals and all our luck in one afternoon, I think. So, um, you know, it was a great, great performance to say goodbye to our fans for this season and um, obviously the circumstances at Man City have helped us today, I think. Key incident was the early sending off of Richard Dunn. From where you were, from what you saw, do you think it was a red card? I don't think the ref had a lot of... Uh, alternative but I, I don't think Richard meant to bring him down you know I think he's just caught his heel um, but with the way the law is you know you have to go so you know that's the key thing because he's their he's their best defender and um, uh, you know with, with things the way they are there I'm sure that's that's given them a massive uphill task. Even so they go down to 10 we've seen it so many times that teams can struggle to play against the 10 men but you opened City up at will really it seemed. Well, the third goal was the important one, you know, even at 2-0. Um, they've got some quality in their side and they passed the ball well and, you know, they were able to keep the ball even with 10. But um, once we've got the third, I think that sort of broke their resistance, really. And, um, you know, we've played some good football towards the end, uh, a bit sloppy at times, but we've scored some fantastic goals. I was going to ask, which one was your favourite today? Because so many to pick from. Yeah, well, I mean, Fabio's free kick was, was world class. Um, I think Stewie's second though uh, on, on the volley and to get him to that 10 goal mark that has been his challenge all season so uh, you know it's pleasing that Adam comes on and gets a goal and Jeremy because they've you know they've played a big part within the squad this year so um, it was a, you know a good day for us. Obviously important that it doesn't paper over the, the cracks maybe of the rest of the season how important is that for you now to take that on into the next campaign and, and learn from this season? Yeah, well, we've learned an enormous amount, and um, we said to the players today could be whatever they wanted it to be. Really, you know, they've earned the right today to go out and play with freedom, and uh, and they've enjoyed it, and they've seen that football can be enjoyable sometimes. But um, uh, unfortunately, too few and far between for us this year. So. Um, uh, you know, we'll enjoy today, but we've already started the plans for next season. Any sympathy for the man who was opposing you today in the dugout? A man you know well, really, with all the pressure he seems to be under. Yeah, well, I think he's a very experienced man. Um, I'm sure in his own mind he's done everything he possibly can. So whatever decisions are taken, he can walk away from there if he is to go with his head held high. And, um, you know, sometimes in life you can do no more than, than, than what you've done. So um, I'm sure he'll get a, a very good job somewhere else if he goes. And I suppose this is where the hard work continues for you now, trying to get players in and come up with something for next season. Yeah, well, we've shown that uh, we've got players in the team that can score goals. And, um, you know, there's, there's lots of good things here. There's lots of foundations in place. Um, we've got to make the right additions and we've got to still change the mentality. But I'm pleased because we were ruthless today, except for the fact we conceded. Um, and very often, you know, we've created chances and not taken them. Today we did. Brilliant. Thanks, Gary. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.